Welcome to the Central Highlands of Sri Lanka. In this video, we will try to explore all the cool things that there is to do in this gorgeous, gorgeous part of the world. Let's go! It's all we fight for. Good morning, guys. It's 5:30 a.m. and we've woken up this early to go watch the sunrise at a viewpoint called Little Adams Peak. It is a really famous site here in Ella and very popular among tourists. Uh, my friend recently told me that this is the greatest ROI hike in the world, like the greatest return on investment, the greatest bang for your buck because the way up is only about 15 minutes but the views are incredible as you can see this is a very popular instagram spot Instagram versus reality. Instagram versus reality. <laughs> So the sun's come up uh, just a little while ago and we were so busy taking photos that we didn't even notice. But now I definitely know why this is such a popular place among tourists. The photos do come out amazing. <laughs> and look at this view. The reason why this hill is called Little Adams Peak is because there is a way bigger hike, a hill called Adams Peak which is slightly outside of Ella which is more of a day-long thing but this is just a mini and shorter version of it that's why they call it Little Adam's Peak so from Little Adam's Peak you can actually walk to the Nine Archers Bridge Google Maps says it's about a 22 minute walk uh, but let's see how long it actually takes us the road is pretty nice it's very scenic there's these nice tea plantations around us and also a resort or two up on the hills and a bunch of cute dogs. This dog's been walking with us. First views of the bridge. Let's go forward. So one of the things that Sri Lankans are super proud of is their railway system and why not because as a tourist I've been blown away at how easy it is to travel from one side of the country to another by train and uh, behind me stands one of the architectural marvels of the railway system this one is called the Nine Arches Bridge Commissioned in 1921 and built in subsequent years, it was one of the many structures that was built during the British colonial times. And as you can also see, it is one of the most favorite Instagram spots in Sri Lanka. So I'm staying at this really aesthetic hostel called Monk Station and the best thing about it is they have free breakfast.
Even though once upon a time, Ella used to be a quiet little town in the middle of tea gardens, in recent years, it's turned into one of the most popular tourist destinations in Sri Lanka. And it's easy to see why, because right around Ella, there are many small and large hiking trails. Everywhere you look, there are hills and tea gardens, which makes it one of the most serene and scenic places in all of Sri Lanka. And because Ella is situated above a thousand meters above sea level, the weather here is a lot cooler than the rest of Sri Lanka, which is a really nice change from the really hot weather that I experienced on the trip before. So make sure you carry a light jacket if you come here. I'll get a, I'll get a kotu, chicken kotu. Chicken kotu? And then also like a pineapple juice. Is it okay if I film? Okay? Thank you. So, this is our first look at the Kotu. It's, I think what it's made of is the base is some sort of bread and along with it we've got eggs, veggies and since this is a chicken kotu obviously there's chicken. It also comes with this sauce that looks pretty spicy and we've got pineapple juice. It's also super nice because of the rainy weather. It gives you this nice like warm feeling sensation. So it's day two. We've woken up and made a spontaneous decision to go walk up about a kilometer or so to try to go zip lining. There's a place here called Ravana Zipline. Alongside Caroline. Hi. I think we're both gonna try zip lighting for yes. the first time. <laughs> Should be fun. Okay, now I'm getting a little scared. Feels cool. So we're now heading to the spot. Behind me, that big rock stone thing that you see is Ella Rock, which is the famous climb here. I'm not gonna do it because it takes about Five to six hours to go up and down. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Ah, beautiful. Today, uh, we are doing Nil Dia Pakuna, one of the caves that's around the hills in Ella. It's supposed to be one of the more popular spots here with like really blue waters that you can swim in um, at the bottom of the cave. But the climb down is supposed to be quite challenging. <laughs> Yeah, we got another YouTuber! <laughs> my His name, name is Sifat. Nice to meet Sifat you Sifat from Bangladesh. Yeah. Sifat from Bangladesh. Follow my yeah. channel. S-I-F-U-R-B-O. So we have a fellow content creator here. What's your name? Shekhar. Shekhar. Explore with Shekhar. Explore with Shekhar. So yeah, we're gonna go down this cave, which is about one kilometer underneath the, the ground. The funny thing is this trip started with like three people wanting to go and now it's turned into an 11 people affair. What? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. <laughs> I made it happen, right? Right? Why don't you want to be in the video? Yeah, exactly. You can see it anyways. Nice. Oh no, not you. That was my good <laughs> This, this trick is a little more challenging than we thought. That is the cave. Oh my. <laughs> okay, this is now getting real and I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. This 
is definitely more adventurous than what I thought it would be. Yo, look at that. There's so much. Huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, 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 blue. That's the weather. And it's so clear. Okay, so we finally reached the bottom of the cave. This is yeah. what's cool is, this is some of the cleanest water I've ever seen, literally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, in yeah. the beginning, I actually couldn't tell that it was water. It looked yeah. like it looked like rocks from a distance, but as yeah, soon as yeah, people yeah. started going in, yeah. you could see the ripples and realize that it's actually water. <laughs> what was that? Was, was that a bag? Ooh. <laughs> I was the last one in the queue for a while. You know that the last one always dies, right? One thing that I forgot to mention about the caves in this video is the significance of these caves in Hindu mythology. According to the Ramayana, which is one of the holy books of Hinduism, the goddess Sita was captured by the antagonist Ravana and kept here in these caves. Some people also believe the ancient cave drawings that we saw earlier are a direct reference to these. Yeah. Come to think of it, I almost didn't do this because I was going to go catch a train to the next destination, but so glad I ended up doing this. Definitely one of the highlights of the entire Sri Lanka trip. And we're out of the cave. And so after a crazy ass morning, we have somehow made it to the station just in time for the train. It was pretty damn hectic because after the, after the cave, we had literally like 10-15 minutes to pack all our stuff up and then get to the station. None of us have showered. No. Caroline's literally in the same clothes she, uh, she was <laughs> in the cave. cave yeah. yeah, yeah, my, uh, you should look at my feet. It's very, very appetizing right now. <laughs> but hey, the adventure never stops. Hopefully we'll catch the train uh, to Nora Elia. This train ride is supposed to be one of the most picturesque train rides in the entire world. The funny part is, as soon as the train started, everyone just started running with their cameras towards the windows and the doors to film the gorgeous scenery. <laughs> All of a sudden, it just started raining and Honestly, with the rain, there's a different type of beauty that you can see in the scenery. If you guys like this video, one of the things that will help me out a lot is if you watch this other video that I've linked up here from start to finish that tells the YouTube algorithm that you like my content and will show it to more people. If you want to follow my adventures real time, then please follow me on Instagram at S-I-F-U-R-B-O. See you in the next video. Peace.